Yo guys, it's me Mia, welcome back to welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on my septum piercing, which has been long awaited, highly requested. I've gotten loads of comments and DMs asking about my septum and saying they can't wait to see the video. So here it is. So I want to start with a quick disclaimer. So I am 15 years old, I'm not claiming to be a professional, I'm not claiming to know everything about piercings, this is just me sharing my experiences, including how much I paid, the pain level, the pain level compared to like other piercings, and any tips for aftercare or just that sort of stuff that I've been shared, so I don't claim to be a professional, don't hate on me. So yeah. Let's get started. I got my nose pierced on the 8th of February this year. I've wanted it for for a minute now, I'd say. Like, I, I didn't just impulsively decide to get it. I had a fake one that summer before to just really see whether I think it would suit me and whether I'd like it. And yeah, I really, really liked it. And after I lost the fake one, I was really considering getting it actually pissed so I did I got it done in a like one week holiday thing for school and I decided to do it two days before I went back to school so that's fun I'm not going to share where I got it pierced because that's kind of local to me and I don't want to give that away I've said that in videos before it's yeah I went to a place that I got my belly button pierced and did I no, I only got my belly button piercer, I think, but the other place that I used to get my piercings from actually closed down semi-recently, kind of not recently, like a minute ago now. But that was where I got like all my ear piercings besides this one here, and I got my tragus done there, but yeah. So I have actually got the video of me getting it done, which I will include. I might need to cut off a couple bits where you see people's faces or like, you know, bits that I can't, I shouldn't really include. I guess we'll just... Into it. I also have got a couple videos of me trying to adjust it whilst it was healing. Uh, sorry if it's uneven, I feel like I look really weird. I don't know why, just ignore that. I guess we'll start with, let's start with like the price and stuff. Okay, so it was £35 in total. The jewellery was included like, with the piercing, I didn't pay for the piercing and then the jewellery separately. I don't think places do that anyway, but I don't know, this is the jewellery that I've got in it done with i haven't changed it since i got it i'll kind of tell you what it was like so i walked in my dad had to sign the papers obviously because i'm 15 i can't get a piercing without parental consent yet like parental signature he signed down and all that stuff and then she explained to me how they kind of pierce the septum piercing because obviously unlike ears and stuff and like belly buttons and just that sort of stuff you can't see exactly where they're piercing so what they do is they feel for what they call the sweet spot. I can't really do it because of the jewellery, but basically they just hook on the inside of your nose, so they clean it obviously. And then they kind of feel for the bit where there's no cartilage and it's just kind of like a little thin bit skin. I don't really know how to explain. But then what they do is they have this special type of clamp. I'll try to insert footage of her you like showing it or holding it up. But basically they then hook that like to your nose to find a sweet spot and obviously they clamp it and then they just get the needle and they kind of blindly just shove it through because obviously they can't see exactly where they're piercing if that makes sense I don't want to sound confusing so yeah she did that I didn't go through any cartilage thank god but I'd say the pain honestly it wasn't painful like it was a bit of a it was more uncomfortable i'd say and like a weird sensation because i've never had that much pressure like applied to my like that part of my nose i don't know it was just weird i'd do it again you know what i mean it wasn't like unbearably painful or anything but i'd say my belly button was honestly more painful than it my belly button was like the same sort of thing but i'd say out of the two my belly button was more painful but that's my personal experience i think my friend she didn't feel her belly button piercing at all but her nose pierced she hasn't got a septum but she's got a standard like nose ring and she said that hurts so much compared to her belly so yeah it really is down to your sort of pain levels but that's just that's just me yeah it went really quickly it was a really quick piercing yeah that's kind of all i really have to say about it honestly 
And yeah, it was overall all right. My eyes watered just so much though. Like I knew they'd water, but it was literally like I just, I was sobbing. Not even because it was painful, just because that is what happens when you get nose piercings, your eyes water. So I looked a bit crazy. Honestly, I looked like, I looked like a crackhead, but it was funny, so it's fine. Right, so ignore how gross I look right now, but I never really said here's the video of me getting my nose pierced. So here's the video of me getting my nose pierced. Wait, really good. Oh, that really felt gay. really weird. Sorry. There's no going back now, is there, to be honest? After I got it pierced, it did bleed quite a lot, I'd say. Sorry, I keep touching my hair. I feel like it looks really gross. I do this in all my videos, honestly. You guys should be used to it. But it did bleed quite a lot. You could see where it was, but the bit where it had bled in the video that I'll insert, that was as much as it bled. It didn't like continue afterwards, if that makes sense. As for aftercare, so I was told to not really pick at it or clean it for a couple of days, I think it was, because it needed to scab and if I like picked off the scab, then it would just continue having to re-scab and then that can affect the healing process I think like negatively uh, my piercing I have to say it pussed so much it was so crusty and whenever I moved it though I could feel I couldn't feel whether it was a scab or the pus like rip off and it really hurt my eyes were watering and it was not fun it was not good and that lasted for I'd say just over a week it's a week just over a week yeah it was definitely most painful when I like knocked it though or like caught it now I was told not to flip it up like this and then flip it down for at least a week. But me being me, like I said earlier, I had school in two days and I could have left it down and gone to like, are you or something? But me being me, I was like, you know what? Oh, I'm gonna try flipping it up anyway. And then, cause I wouldn't constantly be playing with it. So, you know, it's not good for the healing process, but I kind of, I also heard people from their experiences say that theirs healed fine when they flipped it up and left it for like, in my case, six, seven hours and then flipped it down and left it again like overnight and after school and stuff, I don't know. I hope I make sense, also sorry if I say like a lot, I seem to do that. But yeah, I had no trouble with it, it's completely healed now. Not completely healed, but like I can tug at it and like move it and stuff and flip it up and down and it won't hurt. And also though, it smelt weird, but I could smell the blood and I could smell the pus. Sometimes I still do kind of smell the metal, which sounds weird, like when I You know what I mean? When I like kind of turn it and get like a whiff of it, I can smell it. But it's nothing too bad. At times it was like a bit unpleasant and I was just spraying loads because I hated the smell of it. But it's worth it. I think you, you might be, I think you can get it pierced with a solid hoop. But I've seen they're very difficult to like take off and change and stuff. Um, and obviously you can't hide them as you can like core shoes. This one is a like big size so it could swell and stuff and like help with the healing although I actually don't mind the size I quite like it I wouldn't go any bigger but I wouldn't want to go too much smaller because personally I don't like it when you can literally just see the balls if that makes sense although it does suit a lot of people that's just on me and my preferences I think I've kind of said most of what I have to say not gonna lie I've had it for two months now, it's the 13th of April today, so I've had it just over two months and it's completely fine, I put it up and down, I like play with it and it's completely fine and I love it, so yeah. I'll insert the footage and if you do have any questions or worries I guess then please leave them down below and I will try to answer as many as I can, if not I will leave your comment there and hopefully or very likely someone will respond to your comment with their experiences or their knowledge. I will do a changing it for the first time when the time comes around and um, which is not yet because I do like it how it is now although I might as well try and find some jewellery online during quarantine because this will be the best time for me to change it. What is my hair doing? My parting looks so horrible. So yeah thank you guys for watching. Sorry if this video is short. 
Uh, hopefully it was helpful though. Once again, I'm not a professional. This is just based off of my experiences and knowledge. Thank you guys for watching this video. Sorry if it was short. I feel like it was really short. Anyways, I love you very much and I'll see you soon with a brand new video. Bye guys. Jesus.